Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. So this has been a busy, interesting week. I had to fill an order of 20 chandeliers that need to be shipped out to Chicago for a Halloween masquerade ball. I would like to share with you how I created this chandelier. To begin, here are a few supplies you will need. I will be creating the chandelier charms made out of plastic spoon heads. To begin, I'll be cutting 75 spoon heads using floral wire cutters. Next, I'll be forming 225 hooks to hang the spoon heads on using jewelry pin needles. And here, I'm just showing you how I made my hooks. I will have another DIY video linked below where I've used the same techniques for an indoor-outdoor spoon chandelier. Next, I'll be using a wood burning tool to make holes on the top part and bottom part of the spoon heads. Next, I'll be placing the hooks in between the holes of the spoon heads and bending the wires for a better hold. I will repeat the same steps using two more spoon heads with a total of three. I do apologize for the lighting going in and out in different parts of this video, but I am also using different materials in this video, so I have to keep adjusting the lighting to the camera according to what I'm doing. To make the chandelier base, I'll be using three different sizes of circles out of foam board and then I'll be cutting them out. And I made two of each size. Next I'll be gluing two of the same size together forming one round circle. I will repeat the same gluing steps on all three. Next, I'll be using three 32-inch skewers cut down to five inches to hold all three foam boards together. Here, I'm just making sure that all three foam boards will be correctly centered, and then I'll be sticking in all three skewers. After having all the correct measurements, just take it apart and add hot glue in between the holes you just created. Now that I'm happy how I'll be creating the base, I'll be placing all the foam boards back together using a generous amount of hot glue. I will have a complete list of everything used in the description bar below. Use a cutting tool to cut the remaining parts of the skewers. I cut out 4x4 circles all the way through and I also cut out 3 slightly printman shapes on top for better lighting. I use the same technique on the center part top of the foam board to insert the lighting cord. 
I made a temporary hanging hook so I can hang the chandelier while I'm in the process of decorating. Next, I'll start sticking the spoon head charms that I've made going around on the first tier. As I'm sticking and placing the charms, I'll be adding glue as I go along. Continue the same steps on the next two tiers using the first tier as your guideline. I'll be adding three rows of gem wrap on all the rough edges of the foam boards as I continue. Here I'll be gluing on a 3 inch border that I made out of postal board on the last tier on top around the edges. To cover the postal board, I'll be using 11 rows of gen wrap all the way around. Next, I'll be taking these silver bead necklaces, cutting them in half, adding glue on the base and loop them as I go. Next, I'll take another beaded necklace and glue it right in the center, five inches away from the first one I glued and continue the same step going all the way around, continue looping all necklaces.
forget to like, comment, and share with family and friends. And hit the notification bell for more upcoming future videos.